Hi, good morning everybody. Um, Sunday morning and I'm just thinking out loud here. There's probably not going to be any kind of demonstration apart from a bit of pinning. Um, but, so this was on my blog yesterday. Well, this one isn't finished, okay. But these were on my blog yesterday. These are finished. So I have to consider how I'm going to mount these. Now, I want to make a little fabric book. Well, I think these are 8 by 8 so not so little. Now, I'm humming and ironing about how to display them. I could back to back them, so by that I mean I could put them two back to back, uh, fasten them together, but then I would need a spine or something, okay, um, or a header. So I haven't decided, I've only got two done, I've got another one on the go, I'm going to put another one together today, but probably about eight minimum so that would give me four double pages if i decided to do it like that okay but i've also got so if i put a header on it would end up like this one it would be like this one um and they were they're not back to back you can see the reverse of that the workings on these um because they're not back to back they're literally just stitch samples that are put on a header or oh, i'm quite minded to do them another way which I've all actually got another one of these on the go for some other samples I just, my life is sample central um, this one so this one is like a cover and then it's got things in it like ribbons um, to pin so they're pinned on so perhaps I could do something like that not this one it's not finished and pin these on um, but smaller so if these are 8 by 8 I could do a 10 by 10 um, and then the spine as well so the spines folded in such a way pleated that things are pinned to the spine as well but I'm actually minded to have just pages for these so like a page with a bit of ribbon at the top in order to pin that on and the same there and the same on the next page but I know what I'm like and I wouldn't be happy with just a plain background okay so I would have to embellish as well it might not be anything elaborate it might just be a strip of ribbon um, well this ribbon actually has got beads on it but maybe with bullion knots across there or maybe some handmade buttons dangling off it so I need to make these decisions and this situation where I need to make these decisions is wonderful I mean let, right, wouldn't it be marvellous if they were the only decisions we ever had to make so I'm still thinking about it I've got two finished ones two finished ones and one that still needs a bit of work okay I'm gonna like I say I'm gonna put another one together today and I want a minimum of eight. So I've got plenty of time to decide, but my brain's churning all the time. What are you gonna do, Karen, what are you gonna do? So while I'm here and I was getting these out, so you've seen these before, okay? Um, they're just pinned on these samples and that one's pinned to the spine, okay? And that one's pinned to the reverse of the spine. And that's another one pinned to a pleat in the spine. Can you see the pleats? Okay. So while I was getting these out with a view to deciding what to do with the white ones I found some more samples that need to be put somewhere so I will do that with you now now some of them are quite small this is paper and I'm thinking maybe that needs to be pinned up there now the Suffolk puffs up there it won't go under them um, but it doesn't necessarily have to be pinned to the ribbon as such it can but then um, let's see pin that down and the other thing about these they're not substantial in so far as they're not rigid okay so you've got to be careful how you handle them and every time I get this out so that's that one in and you can lift it up and see that one every time I get this out I put it back really carefully so that's the back the back of the thing and then I fold and flatten okay And flatten to make sure they stay in good condition fold and flatten and I think that's evidenced by how they are how they look now if you've got something underneath you've got to be very careful of that one fold and flatten 
So this is the inside front cover. I'm wondering what I can do with these. I'm thinking maybe the back page is best. Um, there's more room, although there's a little bit of space there. So I could perhaps put this one on there. That would be nice. But I don't like the middle. I don't want it in the middle of that. Don't ask me why. None of our little quirks. So if I put that one there and pin that in. Okay, so that's that one. And again, careful how I move it. Um, now maybe actually this this one could go on. Now that's a little bit of lace cloth that I made. And all the while it's added interest to this book. I mean, I do look at these a lot. I really do get inspiration from them. That one there. And that one there. And then I've got this one. And where's that gingham one gone? There it is. Right, so very carefully move them around. Now. So this is separate. It's all the laying that one I've just put in. There. Now the gingham one. Let me just have a look again here. I wonder if the gingham one could go here on the back. I think that would be nice. Yeah, because there's a little bit of gingham there, so maybe put it further down and pin that one in. And then I've just got one more to do. Now, I'm pinning as opposed to tying. I could tie them in because that's very easy to remove them if I need to remove them. But for now, I'm happy with pins. Now, this here, I don't know if you can see, this is actually creased, which is very naughty, Karen. But I can actually unpin that, unpin it, take it to the ironing board and just iron that lace to flatten it out again, which I probably will do when I finish this video. So, and then I've got this one. So that's a new one that I've just laid on. I've got this one and this one. So, I mean, it doesn't matter if they overlay. That one might look nice over there. Okay, it's not really visible. If I bring it a bit lower. But they're all movable and lift upable, so if that's even a word. So you can see what's going on underneath them. So that's the last one in there. And I also want to make sure there's no pins showing at the back, which there is. So I won't do that again. I mean, these are layers. There's layers here. Look, that lifts up. So I'll do it like that. Okay, there's no need for it to be showing through the back. And again, put my hand under there. And put that one in there. So that's a good exercise and it helps me. I'm just, like I said, thinking out loud. Um, right, so I need to unpin this. This one's actually got a safety pin for some reason. And you might wonder about rusting my pins, but doesn't happen um, but having said that like I say I get it out a lot and look at it so I would notice if it started rusting so right I'm going to take this away and iron this now okay just not that just the lace okay 